Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. Our reading is from Mark chapter 6, verses 30 to 34. The apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaving recognized them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. Christians are like soldiers. For one thing, we have spiritual battles to fight every day. And there are plenty of passages in scripture that talk about that. But there's another aspect to being a soldier. Soldiers report to their commanding officer. That's the aspect of soldier life illustrated in today's reading from Mark chapter 6. In verse 30, Mark says, The apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. It makes sense that they should do this. Jesus had just sent them out on a mission. He had given them power to perform miraculous healings. He had given them specific directions. They were to speak the message he had given them, whether people listened or not. And when they came back at the end of the day, they reported back on how it all went. Jesus has called us too. He hasn't called us to be his apostles, but he has called us to be his saints. And he has also called each of us to be soldiers, each with our own specific mission. Your mission might be to do the work of a parent or a son or daughter. Maybe you are to be a friend. Even being a member of a congregation can be a part of your mission from God. Every day there are blessings to be found in all these missions, and there are also challenges. And every day we have an opportunity to report back to Jesus. I don't think it's saying too much to say that it's a struggle for us to do this reporting consistently and wholeheartedly. Some might say it's because we're tired. Some might say it's because we forget to think of ourselves as Christian soldiers reporting to our commanding officer, but maybe we shouldn't discount the role that our sinful flesh plays in it. Because according to our sinful flesh, the reason we don't report back is that we don't think we should have to. Whatever mess we're in, it's our mess and we'll take care of it, we think. That's fine if it's a mess we can truly handle, but the sinful flesh isn't content to stop there. We think we can do it all. We want to be in charge of it all. And God's role, he can be our assistant. He can be on standby until we think we need him. To put it in military terms, in our sinful flesh, we don't want to be soldiers. We want to be the general. But if that's where we stand, look what we're missing. Look what happened in our text. After the apostles reported to Jesus, Jesus says, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. This is not the behavior of a typical commanding officer. A commanding officer cares about his troops, but he's not their counselor. Good soldiers respect and obey their commanding officer, but they hardly look to him as a source of comfort and rest. In fact, R&R &R might be the time when a soldier wants to get as far away from his commanding officer as possible. But Jesus is different. You know Jesus is much more than our commander. Jesus is our shepherd. He laid down his life for us, his sheep. We were stuck in sin and doomed to deal with all its consequences, and he came to our world and took care of it on the cross. Now, when he says, come to me for quiet time, the quiet that he offers is the quiet that comes with his blood-bought forgiveness and pardon. And that is something that we daily and desperately need. Remember that crowd that followed Jesus and his disciples around the lake in our reading? Jesus said they were like sheep without a shepherd. We can relate to them. Life can leave us disoriented. The press of duty, the weight of anxiety, the guilt of our sin. Jesus sees you and he knows you. And his invitation is for you, just you. Come to me, he says. It's good to come to church. It's good to attend group Bible study, but let's not forget what else is good. It's good to spend time with Jesus alone. You can tell him everything, what you've been up to, what's causing you stress. 
You can lay your sins out before him, all those things you've done or left undone, everything that eats at you. And as you open the scriptures and remember your baptism, you are grazing in the green pastures of your good shepherd. And Jesus is there for you, just for you. Soldiers don't spend all their time in battle. When they get back to the base, it's time to report, to debrief with their commanding officer. No other commanding officer could ever be what Jesus is to you. And no other R&R could ever compare to the spiritual rest he provides. And no other invitation could be as sweet as the one he speaks to you and me in this reading and extends to us every day. Come with me by yourself to a quiet place and get some rest. We'll see you next time.